Hey folks, so what I got here is a Galaxian bootleg uh, board. This is a Galaxian uh, architecture board. Uh, very, um, they're, they're all very similar. Um, they have that edge connector here and another connector near the, uh, the uh, CPU. Uh, it's a Z80 based board and then you got uh, uh, the ROMs here which are the uh, program ROMs and the graphic ROMs are over here. It's very somewhat similar to what you'd find uh, on a Pac-Man. Uh, the, the Z80, the CPU is under here, uh, which has got this little uh, uh, sub-board, and then the EEPROMs, uh, there's, uh, there's no EEPROMs here, but it's a very similar, you've got that connector, the power uh, regulation is, uh, again, um, similar, you've got an IC here, this one is under a huge uh, heat sink, you got all these uh, uh, caps, regulating caps, uh, regulators and caps, they're more or less in the same place, so very, very similar architecture and uh, which makes uh, troubleshooting them a bit easier or at least it should anyway this one isn't working i'm told uh, i have another one i have a, um, a second board very similar again layout uh, this one was uh, was it munchman or something like that it was a pac-man clone a terrible terrible pac-man clone <laughs> and uh, what i was told was really cool about these boards is that in Europe, they were available in Europe, uh, only as far as I know. And uh, essentially, operator just bought, bought the uh, just the, the, the basic dry hardware. They should go the other way, so you can see the uh, similarities. It's exactly the same board. So they buy the, the hardware board and then put the uh, the socket themselves and the uh, EEPROMs, uh, depending on what game they wanted to run. So yeah, while it's not original, it's actually a really cool little bit of just history and trivia like and uh, that's why I got them I got them for I don't know for maybe I, I got a whole stack of board for 100 euros a while back and uh, these were in them they're actually thrown in at the last minute because the guy was like yeah I should take these as well so thank you very much for that and uh, so <clears throat> my goal is to restore this to a Galaxian and I don't know if I wanted uh, that pa horrible pack and clothes on, on that or if I want another spare Galaxian just in case, but uh, it'd be it'd be cool to have two Galaxian. Or, or I don't know why. Maybe uh, I heard Frogger can run on uh, on <laughs> the uh, Galaxian uh, architecture, so that'd be a cool one to have, uh, Frogger. Anyway, um, let's put this aside for now and see if this works. So I have an adapter here, Pac-Man adapter, um, and uh, it should work on this uh, on this Galaxian. The uh, voltages are in the same place. Uh, what I've done actually, I've put one of these little uh, voltmeter just to uh, give give me an indication of what actually arrives at the uh, at the uh, uh, the, uh, the board. And um, this is one of these. You get them off eBay, very cheap. I got a stack of them. And then uh, I have actually meters on the uh, JAMA harness, but these are JAMA extensions. They're not great, and you lose a good bit of uh, voltage because they. The wires are a bit thin and yeah, um, I should get a better, better, um, or make one at least with better gauge wire. So anyway, let's see if this works and uh, if we, if we get any signal, uh, there you go. So it's, eh, it's not doing much right now. Yeah, it's not doing anything at all. In fact, uh, if I, uh, wobble things, anything happens, not really, yeah, sorry, I should keep, uh... yeah, I'm not, I'm not getting, yeah, we're getting stuff here, but nothing really, um, so the first thing to do is probably check the CPU, are we getting a, a clock, uh, I'd say so, because, uh, what's the clock is uh, pin six, isn't it? Yeah, we're getting a clock. Um, okay, so input output request. Uh, actually, that's not what I'm looking for. The uh, is there anything on halt? No. These are all um, active low, so I could actually take that off and put that in my uh, tester. Um, actually, I might I might do that. No, actually, I, I know there's a clock coming. Um, 11 should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, that's my uh, plus 5. Uh, ground should be here. That's uh, grounded as well. Fair enough. Uh, I've I got activity on the... Yeah. 
I got stuff happening on the uh, on the address lines. We're now at the data lines. Yeah, one, one, two, three, four. So it, yeah, it's toggling. It's firing. Uh, the interrupt requests are high. It's okay. I uh, just want to check if the reset. Uh, so read write is toggling. Yeah. Uh, bus acknowledge when the no. Uh, weight is active high, fair enough. That's it low anyway. Bus request fine. Reset. Oh, it's resetting, is it? Oh, the display has changed. Okay, let me just restart this. It might have. Uh, uh, so we are looking for 26 to 21, 22, 25. 6. Yeah, our reset line is toggling. Fair enough, that's something I need to look into. Um, and uh, refresh M1. Uh, yeah, grab. Okay, our reset line is toggling, which is interesting. And actually, the display now has changed a good bit. It's not. Oh. Yeah, I get stuff when I press the. I get different um, stuff happening. I'm trying to see if the reset line is toggling when it's like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm getting sound. Okay. <clears throat> oh, if I press on the E proms, uh, I get stuff happening and then getting stuck again. So I wonder. Are these EPROMs okay? Just gonna switch it off. Um, and I can see there, there the, those golden uh, pins. I need my handy EPROM remover tool. And uh, let's just take let's see this. Oh, well, there you go. 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 Um, you see straight away. See those legs? <laughs> legs have broken. Um, yeah, so it, the board isn't even gonna boot. So I need to. Uh, well, I need to check all these problems and uh, and see what we're dealing with here. But that's uh, okay. First, uh, yeah, first call of to action is uh, exchange the problems or check the problems first. Anyway, let's do that. So I have unsocketed uh, most of the uh, EPROMs here and uh, you can see what the problem is already. Uh, I just wanted to check, you know, reseat them and then I noticed there's uh, a couple of legs uh, that were short uh, or missing. So obviously, uh, there's a, well they are actually all like that if I take another one. I think this one might be fine. I only found two that had all their legs but actually you can see. It's bent already. Why is this not focusing? And uh, if I wiggle it a little bit, there you can see it's, it's moving. It's just ready to break. There you go. It's breaking. So I only found one uh, or two. There you go. There's another one missing here. They're very, very fragile legs. These old, uh, it's, uh, the gold pins or whatever they are. Uh, this one is okay. No, there's one missing over there, and there, there's two more here. Uh, I think this one is fine. So I'm gonna use these two that are fine to identify exactly what they are. Uh, I have them in my uh, EEPROM reader, and then uh, in my software they show up as uh, um, uh, what are they? Sorry, device. Uh, they are 20. They're the 32, yeah, 2732. Actually, I should read better. These are 2716 uh, EPROMs. And uh, when I check this in uh, ROM, I don't. Uh, where is it? Um, here. Sorry, already. It comes up as uh, one of these four. So it's either um, a couple of hacks or the original uh, Galaxian Taito, well, not, not original, but the uh, Taito IRAM uh, board set. Uh, this is a uh, kamikaze hack, but this is the uh, IRAM one. So you can see you got these 
Oh, yeah, sorry, where am I? Actually, the title one might be. Is that the title one? Yeah. <clears throat> so, we got the two graphics uh, ones, which is a uh, 1J and 1K. So, this would be uh, these ones 1K and uh, 1J. This is row one. And we got four, five, sorry, uh, prom, uh, EPROM, sorry. Uh, five so at F C D E G well they're in different order but um, actually I should really figure out where these go um, but yeah you can see that these are uh, these are uh, five in similar locations so they would should go all there yeah M L K J and H perfect so this is the board set I'm looking for. Now, unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, looking closely, um, I'm gonna try and focus here, but you can see, maybe not. This doesn't wanna focus. Let's see if I can get some more light in here. There you go, it's a bit better. But you can see here, we got some of the legs that, bro that uh, broke are actually stuck inside. So these uh, these connectors or these uh, sockets aren't great anyway. They're single uh, single throw connectors. So I'm just gonna replace them all. So it's gonna take a while. Uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to replace. I might replace the CPU sockets while I'm at it. And uh, and then burn new ROMs. So I'm gonna have to find. Uh, can I use 30, 27, 32? I don't know actually. I could try it using 2732 because the rest will be will be blank, and uh, the uh, address decoding should do the trick in switching ad um, e prompts. I don't know. I don't know. I need I need to uh, research that. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to order some uh, some 2716 because I don't have any. And this are uh, it's actually the first board that uses these that I uh, I come across. So. Um, or that I need to repair. I have a few, a few more uh, Galaxian uh, hardware types. Anyway, so yeah, new sockets, uh, new EPROMs, and then, and then we'll see uh, what else we get. All right, so uh, I did some research, uh, and yes, you can burn a 27, uh, uh, 16 image into a 2032. Uh, EEPROM. Uh, essentially you can burn a smaller EEPROM into a, a bigger EEPROM but not the other way around. Now these are pin compatibles as well, this is really important, they have to have the same pin. So, But what we do is we just select the uh, chip on the software, there's no chip here, but we just tell the software that we're working with this chip. We load the image uh, that we want to use and it fills naturally fills the rest with just uh, blank or, or FF which is all ones. Um, so what we're gonna do is just, we're gonna copy all of this uh, and this is for, you can actually leave it blank, but just for compatibility sake, because it doesn't quite always work. Um, it, it should, but sometimes it doesn't. Uh, and we're just gonna copy double the code inside. So uh, it goes to 7FF0 uh, and it's 8, eight Ks essentially. And, uh, or is it? No, it's less than that, 4Ks, is it? Can't remember. Uh, and then here, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a it's a 2K ROM, the 16, and then the 32 is a 4K ROM. Uh, and then from the other half, we're just gonna copy the entire code again. Uh, there you go, it's copied twice. Zero A at the end, zero A at the end, it starts with one eight. Uh, starts with a one eight, perfect. Uh, I'm gonna save that. So this is seven L. So I have <coughs> three more to do. So I'm just gonna do these. And then we should be uh, we should be going to uh, burn them onto uh, uh, 2732s. Hey folks, so I have the uh, new EPROMs, burnt EPROMs on here. Uh, so these are um, 2732. So I just uh, duplicated the uh, the um, the info that were in the original 2716 ROMs. Uh, that should work fine normally, I'm, I'm told. So uh, we, we are gonna have to. Uh, to assume that it works and that they're fine, I double check them and triple check them. Um, anyway, and uh, well, let's let's power it. I already know what happened, and I've already done some research on this. Um, so uh, this is what I get when I power this on. Garble 
some looks like it's resetting anyway something happens uh, so we got at least some life and if I check the uh, the uh, Z80 I have uh, my uh, cheat sheet but I'm starting to know that uh, processor by heart now so um, uh, so blah, blah, blah. so we got one two three four five six this is our clock so we got a we have a clock now, whether that's the right clock or not I'm gonna have to assume that it is I'm not gonna uh, calculate I do have actually I do have a small uh, probe here I can use uh, I got this little thing uh, but if I want to three four five six there you will we get the uh, this is somewhat steady it just readjusts uh, automatically but yeah it's a we got a steady clock so clock is fine the uh, CPU is getting power uh, we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven we got uh, uh, plus five and we got ground sorted and then if you look at just random uh, data lines here we're getting some activity on the data on the uh, sorry address lines some on the data lines uh, and then if I look at uh, probably the one that would seem to uh, it looks like it's a reset of sorts but can't be sure um, oh you get a bad run on some frames sometimes I, I get I sort of get a bad RAM or ROM there you go I'm not sure what that is I'm gonna have to freeze it at some point we get a intermittent wait wait signal but things are toggling so the the CPU the Z80 is fine and it's firing a bus request a reset is uh, there's nothing on reset um, interesting so it's not it's not actually a reset or, or at least it's not a, 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 a CPU reset um, M1 is toggling and refresh and this is ground should be fine yeah, uh, yeah the address line are toggling so uh, what I've uh, what I've looked at in the, uh, in the schematics is uh, so the schematics for Galaxy not quite big I'm just gonna uh, but what we have here is the uh, Z80 so it's a good place to start and here we have our a clock signal uh, I've already established that this, this is fine so our reset sorry our reset line uh, and our watchdog and then we've got a bypass to bypass the reset circuit uh, which is here and it's those pads here so I've already uh, I've already short shorted these just to test and, uh, and the problem is not a reset so there has been uh, some progress on this guy um, I'm just gonna run through uh, everything I've done so I've changed uh, so this is these four uh, so the, the buffers and uh, there's a few uh, of these uh, uh, multiplexers there and uh, what happened is um, essentially when I removed these three guys I noticed there was uh, some just traces of just corrosion underneath so I cleaned all that and I started inspecting around and I found more evidence of corrosion under these guys and these guys as well so I just I just changed the whole lot of them uh, what I also did is I changed the uh, the RAMs. Uh, these are the old RAMs over there. Uh, I got some new ones here and here, and uh, these are the video RAMs. These are the CP RAMs, and uh, I uh, I also wanted to double check that this was the right RAMs for it. Uh, as it turned out, um, what I had put in it was a Galaga uh, Galaga B. I'm sorry. Um, Galaxian B or something like that, the bootleg, but it's not actually Galaxian bootleg technically. Uh, the things here is so that Starfighter, um, which I think is a was it a Mooncresta bootleg, but initially it would have been Kamikaze uh, 3, it's a which is a hack of a Galaxian essentially. Anyway, uh, long story short, the board then still wasn't booting, I was still getting the, that error. So what I did is I I, uh, I did something I should have done at the beginning, which is check the levels, the voltage level. So here you have the, uh, this is actually very handy because the traces here, there's no cover on the trace, so they're all conductive. So um, here you have the, uh, the the five volt line and the uh, ground line. So I checked the voltages there and I was only getting like 4.1 or 4.2 volts, should be at least five volts. Uh, these were actually designed to take uh, AC and what what it did is 
uh, it would get 7 volt AC like Pac-Man, like Galaga, like uh, Galaxian obviously, but and the bootlegs um, work the same. It would get 7 volt uh, AC and 12 volt um, here as well, uh, AC, and then it would go through these. Uh, there was the 12 volt one, the 5 volt one, go through these um, diodes. Uh, you get a voltage drop and then you go to all these uh, reg uh, transistor regulator and then uh, all the resistors, filtering caps, all that kind of stuff would actually drop the voltage back to, down to 5 volt. What I'm doing now though is I'm sending 5 volt already and obviously the voltage drops as well down to you know 4 point something. Uh, so even when I was cranking up the voltage at the uh, jammer harness I still wasn't getting enough to power the board. So, I uh, looked online and there's a mod you can do, so you take all the uh, diodes out, you bridge them, you take that big cap, sorry, that big resistor out and you bridge it here and then you just take those regulators, this is transistor, that um, resistor here, uh, you just literally just remove them and bridge all the uh, diodes out. Like I said that already and lo and behold, there you go, uh, it's at least booting and um, we have now as well, it wasn't sound initially when I got it to work, but now we have sound. Oh, we should. There you go. <laughs> so we still have one issue is some of the sprites here are not in the correct position. So I need to do some investigating um, on that. I would suspect, I would suspect if I look at the schematics here, uh, so normally what you have is the, uh, uh, the the way the video RAM works or the RAM display is is yes yes so you get the uh, you get the video uh, RAM bus it goes into RAM and essentially your entire screen gets mapped there and from there it goes into uh, it goes into these uh, buffers but it goes into these uh, runs so the, uh, the the game gets sort of drawn here and then uh, we have the buffers here it's probably here one of these or maybe these and then goes into the rams and literally just picks which uh, so you get a mapping you know a map, yeah a map a map in ram and then uh, it goes and picks exactly which sprites should be displayed where so you get just this table and from the table it goes into the ROM to display there and from the ROM it probably goes into these color ROMs, uh, RAMs to display so if, you're, if I follow uh, yes yeah, so it goes into another multiplexer sorry these are multiplexers not buffers and uh, or demultiplexer and no that's a multiplexer sorry and it goes into these yeah color ROMs uh, is that correct? Yeah, and the colors get picked and then it outputs into RGB, yeah. Okay. All right, folks, so um, I did something very, very silly um, with my previous uh, previous section there, but I, um, I was looking at all these uh, these chips here on the, uh, on the uh, video, uh, sprite uh, lines but I, I had a I had a hunch it was uh, one of the um, either one of the uh, 157 or, or these guys the uh, 194s and uh, I started replacing one which I suspected was wrong and they tested fine and then anyway long story short I got caught in the action and I ended up replacing the whole bank now, I'm sort of glad I did that because some of them had corrosion underneath. Um, so, uh, you know, it doesn't hurt. Um, but the, the, the original chips are uh, fine. I actually put them back in. Um, so, <clears throat> I was scratching my head for a while and then uh, I found a, a, a repair guide PDF of sorts uh, that says that uh, it's a common fault apparently. And uh, to look at these two, the uh, 163, um, these these two guys. Uh, essentially, if the if the sprites appear in the wrong position, the uh, the sprites that attack uh, appear in the wrong position, uh, or the sprite in the intro uh, that this you know you get the uh, the sprites and then whatever um, 
points and score bonus you get out of them um, if they appear on top of the screen to look at these two guys so I replaced both of them actually um, it turns out this one was uh, was still fine but the other one was dead I'll probably put, put this one back and save it for uh, another time but um, anyway so um, essentially uh, let's see uh, let's see if this works well I know already that it does because there you go uh, and I've, I've uh, tested this already so there you go descending sprites appear properly uh, I'm just gonna play with the contrast there you go and the color is a bit Whoa. So there you go, that's uh, uh, Galaxian or Kamikaze. What I've done is well, I've put a, just a voltage indicator because this is actually very, very sensitive to voltages. Um, and it will only start if it reaches that sort of 178. Uh, actually, any higher and it doesn't want to start. So I'm not sure why. Maybe I should, uh, I should replace these guys, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna worry about that some other time. Uh, I've just put a sticker to indicate. Uh, what board this is but there you go this is a rescued from the dead Galaxian uh, kamikaze a Galaxian clone um, and I like the history so that's why I wanted to uh, restore it and uh, and we actually have another board that I've started working on uh, I did the uh, the DC mod already uh, this one is missing all the uh, all the ROMs um, and uh, and I believe the CPU is fried uh, because I tested that already. But uh, we'll probably do that in a separate video and see how we, if we can restore this one. But at least this one is saved and uh, brought back from the dead. Folks, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.